Tigers embark on their 2011 journey with high expectations after winning the 2010 SWAC championship. The camaraderie that this team has developed after a tumultuous offseason will be important. Challenges have to be overcome. And with the numbers dwindling, more onus will be on special teams place kicker Robert Hirsch, who's overcome them throughout his life. No, came into issue and reality hit me with the death of my grandpa and death of my mom and it's been a hard time but you know have people pick me up and and uh, you know big family here for me. And whenever uh, my mom did pass away it wasn't it was an honor to see actually you know the team stepped up and for him and for us and that you know when mom was MD Anderson like some of the teammates, you know, actually went to go see her. I think Robbie does a great job. Uh, you know, I stand him on his conditioning and his stretching. So, but it's the mental aspect of the game that I try to get these guys to understand. Um, yeah, with my fire, I would have to struggle here and there. And so I have to condition more than other players. And every time I go out to the kicker field, like a little kick up, I always touch it in. And point to the sky, so she's always watching me. Good, 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 Christian, good. Hey, Christian, go. Come on, step up, go. Nice, They would. Like that. All right. If you stay square, he's gonna jack you up. We're gonna be smart. And, and we're going to be sound and we're going to be tough in all our, all our phases of the games. My biggest thing is coming here, in here and making sure the guys know we're going to have an identity. You know, that, that's my biggest thing. Finished number one in the nation in total defense and tackles for loss, but there are numbers that are attached to those rankings. So which, what we've done is we've said we averaged nine tackles for loss a game. We want to average 15. Uh, we averaged 3.55 sacks a game. We want to average five sacks a game. We've increased and put the pressure on ourselves to increase those numbers. And then we know by doing that, it'd be no question that we'll repeat as national t t statistical champions. It's amazing so many similarities of guys uh, that's on this team that, that kind of represents uh, what I've seen in the past. We take a Derek as Purdy uh, with his quickness and uh, his suddenness. It kind of reminded me of Terry Fair in the days at, at uh, Tennessee. And then you look at the elongated safeties and the young guys that we have, and Dorian Strahan, who's, uh, who's real long and, and, and make things happen, kind of remind me of a young Deion Grant. Hey Trey, Trey, come here, Trey. You got you gotta use these right here too. You gotta use your feet. What you did, you won, huh? You got a kick slide. Step with you. You got a kick slide. You go that way, you got a kick slide. Real quick. Alright? Quick try. Alright? Alright, here we go. Let's go. Here we go. We got At six foot four, hundred and ninety pounds, senior cornerback Eric Brown understands the importance of technique. I'm, I'm long, so I have long arms, long legs. The challenge would be staying low in my back pedal, breaking on routes, quick routes, uh, motor, motor, feet. Uh, you know, just day-to-day just -day working on my footwork and hips and making sure I can open up, plant quick, and just run these small receivers. NFL prospect defensive tackle Johnny Hollins hasn't let injuries keep him from getting mental reps. Well, it's, it's, it's been really tough uh, seeing everybody, seeing like my fellow D-linemen, everybody putting in work, and um, I'm just, you know, just on the sideline watching. But um, like I coach them every day, like there's other ways you can prepare yourself by being mentally, uh, just taking in plays and taking mental reps. Defensive end Marquise Jackson 
may be the Tigers' most explosive defender. It will be paramount for him to get off to a fast start this season. You know, um, I've known Jonathan Hollis for about three years now. We've been at JC together, so we have that sort of chemistry. Well, going to the season, um, I, I had a chip on my shoulder. Like, uh, I was a new, new guy on the team, and um, I, just, I just knew I had to come and play. And, um, like, I was fortunate I was surrounded with, uh, with a talented, like, defense, like, overall. So I hold D-line talented uh, up to the backers, to the secondary. So I might have too much pressure, but I know I had to get in and make plays, like, immediately. Yeah, we, we, you know, we compete. You know, it's a party in the backfield. We compete. But uh, I believe Johnny had about eight sacks, seven sacks, and I can't be sure. But, you know, we, we, we try to do our best. We make it a competition to uh, see who has the most sacks the game and at the end of the year. So, you know, we try to make it fun. The history of Texas Southern is not lost on Jackson. And despite a SWAC championship, he hopes to one day leave his name also amongst the stars. It's remarkable, you know, that's one of the reasons he is really one of the reasons why I really decided to come here. You know, uh, you know, as a defensive end, they tell me, you know, Michael Strahan came here, he got out, he, he did these and these type of stats and put records up. You know, that, that makes me want to say, okay, you know, uh, I'm going to try to be that player to come in and break his, break his records. I want to be the best. I want to be like, I don't want to be like him. I want to be better than him. I want to, I want to do things so where people remember my name when I leave this university. Uh, 212 degrees, that's the boiling point. And you know, when when they create steam, and, and, you know, steam can can, uh, can run a locomotive, so that, that's ideal. We felt like once we get at 212 degrees, we're able to, you know, that's our, that's our point of being able to operate like a lo locomotive out there. And, that, and those kids, that was our theme last year, and it looked like these kids are latching on to that. Yeah. We're not just about, you know, Winning one championship, we can win two championships, possibly three. Well, we're, we're talented. We're we're, we're going to be physical. You know, the school of pharmacy in Texas Southern is probably the tops in the state of Texas. So it's Durham Marshall School of Law, and that's just right here. We define hope as expectation and desire. At a black school, like it's a lot going on. You know, far as like campus stuff, and uh, you know, you got to get your classwork. There's a lot of like off-campus activities and on-campus. So. You gotta just get into it and uh, you know just focus. You know, keep everything in perspective. We cannot uh, control the path that's set before us, but one thing we can do, we can run it with perseverance and endurance.